Hey guys, it's Kevin. Today I'm going to talk about how you fix the, your eco tank or uh, printer doesn't turn on. If you see those two big black transistors on your mainboard, uh, the power outage may probably, uh, yeah, 80% chance are caused by those. We have a printer repair service that you can send your printer in. Just go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, click a printer re repair service. Yeah, sorry, my internet is not that good here. Um, uh, so if, if you printer is too heavy, you can just uh, send the main board. So the details here. But uh, this video is for those folks who want to do it at home and then take matter to their own hand. You're going to see one of the transistor is A2222. Today I'm going to show you how to test this transistor on board without taking it off. Uh, the other one will be see something. Uh, you don't, uh, it's just the opposite of doing this. I'm going to show you. So uh, if you understand how to test A222, you, you understand how to test the other, the other one. Uh, just before we go, uh, if you need uh, the transistors, you can just go to bchtechnology.com and uh, just tap in A222 and uh, it should come up. Normally you're going to see A222 and uh, uh, C6144 or the same thing as A222 and uh, A6082, which is a little bit older. We're going to test it off board first. I don't assume you have uh, a complete set of uh, knowledge of doing this, so I'm trying to explain it simple. Uh, get a multimeter, digital multimeter, and uh, turn the dial to uh, be able to test the uh, diode. And you can see that symbol there. If you look at the data sheet, you're going to find uh, the A222 is a PNP transistor. So you stick your black prop on the end and use the red prop, try the first P, and doesn't matter which one, and then you try another P. Each time, it's going to read less than 0.7 volts. So A222, uh, you can see uh, if we have the lighter side towards us. The leftmost pin is the base. We put a black on it, and then we put a ah, 0.6. And another one, 0.64. On the board is soldered this way, it's uh, offset side. So you're going to put your uh, black uh, to the rightmost because the number one pin will be on the right and uh, measure the other two. What about the other guy? Okay, if this guy is a PNP, the other guy is NPN. So NPN. So this this time you put the the right the positive in uh, in the base. Uh, still the base is the uh, leftmost. So one two three is yeah, the same as a uh, a a two two two. And you use your black to move uh, between the number two and number three pins. You can see the differences between the two is uh, you put a uh, for A222, you put a black on the base, on the number one pin. Actually, Epson has a letter B on the main board to help you figure out which one is the base, the base pin. Usually, Epson mark A222 with a white strip. Sometimes I've seen two white stripes. So you want to lift it up and take a peek, and then use a magic marker, write number two on top of it. So next time you don't have to uh, uh, bend it. And uh, if you bend it many times, it's going to fall off. Everything will be different if you do it on the board. You can see this voltage is only 0.13. So is this good? Uh, I'm going to tell you. Uh, later on in the video. Okay, let's say some regular boards and uh, this ST2000 uh, EcoTank. And remember, we are on the opposite side, so the rightmost is the black. So 5.6 and 5.7, that sounds good. Okay, let's try another board. Uh, this is a brand new uh, ST2000. It's the same board as the last one uh, I showed you. It's on, uh, but you notice a difference, so <laughs> difference of color. So they must have a different batch. So five four five five. Remember, it's th this is the same model, so their voltage is a little bit different. And another board from the same batch. 
We got the uh, how much? Five seven. Five uh, eight. And uh, let's try a brand new uh, WF twenty sixteen. So we got the uh, five six and uh, five seven. And uh, let's try another model. We got a uh, five six five seven. You guys must have been bored. Okay, let's try one that uh, doesn't turn on. This is a uh, Eco Tank ET two five five zero. And uh, black to the right. Ooh, <laughs> how about that? Another one. You don't even have to test it. It must be bad. How about that one with the weird reading? It's not uh, exactly 0.5 yet, but it's kind of uh, medium range voltage. Um, actually, it could be good. Oh, actually, it should be good. Let me just tell tell you the answer. So, uh, if you cut it off and uh, see, perfect. And now we flip it over and put it on the board. And the key is the first test is about the point six something. See, it's good. Then remember, like earlier, when we go to the second one, it's really low. So it depends on the board, uh, and so sometimes you get weird readings. And uh, if you're not sure, just take it off and uh, check it uh, off the board. Uh, let's check that uh, bad one that we think is bad. <laughs> if you like me, uh, uh, you test so many uh, transistors from their back, so uh, you're gonna flip over to test it anyway. Uh, so okay, let's see. See, uh, so it's bad off board too. So we're going to just replace it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnology.com or locally at Greensboro, North Carolina. Cheers.